Are you sick of paying for leads that never buy? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I generated over 879 sales qualified leads and $58,000 in revenue for my client. Okay, hopping into this account, as you can see from the date ranges of June 1st to November uh, 22nd, 27th, you can see the increase in HubSpot qualified leads and opportunities here versus the decrease in just regular leads in the line chart. And then if we go to the table, we can see the big, uh, big difference in the increase here overall and this is on the hubspot side and then if we go into youtube you can see 415 leads over 32,000 views and a low uh, nine dollar cost per lead um, generated from youtube ads as well so essentially these are the results and the problem essentially was there were too many unqualified leads in the sales calendar so they wouldn't they would either decline these calls or they would just muddy up the entire calendar where the sales team couldn't um, actually talk to qualified prospects. Um, and this is also a new product um, that they wanted to market. So we had to find the right audience to actually show this to. So essentially the solution here was to set up um, a HubSpot CRM integration that allowed us to generate the actual sale, um, SaaS market market qualified leads by essentially um, showing us who within HubSpot was actually moving up the sales funnel and who was just signing up and was a market qualified lead, but ultimately not um, converting. So you can see these different HubSpot um, lead lead conversion actions. And these are, off, these are offline conversion actions imported from Google Click IDs from HubSpot. Um, this is essentially done by linking the HubSpot account and Google Ads so that it can be as quick of an integration as possible. So you can see that HubSpot is linked here along with analytics and YouTube. So this allowed us to continue to increase um, leads while, de while decreasing um, non-sales qualified leads because we could bid up or down on the conversions that were actually converting. Next, uh, another improvement of this account was on the audience layering. So in these audiences here, so if we go to audience segments, um, you can see there's bid adjustments that based on different audience segments um, that people are in. So essentially if they're looking up our keywords and they happen to be in some of these more qualified segments. We can do bid adjustments on them. And a lot of them have higher conversion rates than others. So we do different bid adjustments here. And that also helped with lead quality overall, as well as scaling with broad match keywords. So in the keywords here, you can see a lot of these are broad match keywords that allowed us to hit our target CPA goals while still um, being looser with the targeting because we were confident with the offline conversion tracking in the back end, whether someone was qualified or unqualified here. Um, next, for the YouTube campaign, when we were testing the new product, essentially it was segmented in a few different ways. It was sent, uh, segmented on in-market keywords and placement segments. So these, uh, first off, starting with the in-market segment, this worked really well for scaling based off of um, the data given from the keyword and conversion segments. So you can see people interested exactly in this product were bid up more, up, up more or less essentially here. And it also segmented by ad groups, which could be men or by device, which could be desktop. And this is good to see because the conversion rates really differ depending on our customer persona and the device that they're on that which helps their engagement rate and then for the keywords campaign we took the best converting keywords from our search campaigns and the offline conversion tracking is essentially and essentially add that added that to the display and video keywords um, before they were not available on google but this was essentially a campaign that was set up prior to that 
So you can see some of the best converted keywords here and showed us on really relevant um, placements and targets. And then from those best performing placements, we would actually keywords, we would look at the placements and add those as well so we can get more conversions. So it was a mix of testing the in-market segments that Google gave us based on data, taking our best converting offline keywords and adding them to YouTube, and then taking those best placements and essentially adding them uh, within there. If you'd like me to personally generate more leads for your business, book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation below.